For a given problem, for stopping earth rotation, we take the system, the earth only, is a non-closed system, then a super band exerts an external uh, rotational impulse on the system. So changing the system's rotational momentum from uh, non-zero magnitude to zero, we assume that external torque is applied uniformly, applying the relationship between impulse and the momentum from uh, initial state to the final state F. We can write Li, initial and low momentum, plus uh, sum of a torques in delta T time, that is equal to Lf. So Li we have is a momentum of inertia times omega, plus uh, torque is a force, um, force by a superman. So we'll write S times R uh, times uh, delta T. That is equal to, um, so the final angular momentum here we have is zero. Then uh, we can solve for a force. So that expression force, um, force we get here, Fs, will be uh, minus 2 over 5 mr squared times 2 pi divided by r times t times delta t. Where we can write i, i for earth is a 2 over 5 mr squared. Omega here is a 2 pi divided by time period t for the earth. Then um, we take the values for uh, calculating the force that is, uh, the earth rotation is uh, in a counterclockwise direction. So we'll take this uh, positive. And the earth rotational inertia is uh, of a solid sphere. Uh, we know the earth uh, rotational period is uh, 24 hours. Uh, at the equator, the perpendicular distance between a superman and the earth's polar axis is equal to the earth radius, which is r. That is uh, 6.38 times 10 to the power 6 meters. And the earth mass m here is a 5.97 times 10 to the power 24 kg. Um, we can then uh, plug those values in an expression that we obtained earlier here. So we'll plug those values here. And uh, the force that we get here is uh, minus 3.5 uh, times 10 to the power 19 Newton. This amount of force will be needed to stop the Earth's rotation.